news actually came up. Kim Kardashian actually announced on Twitter earlier that Keeping Up With Kardashians is over. It is over after the next season that they're filming. It's officially going to come to an end. Um, the big K U was it K U W T K right? It's completely over, and I'd never thought I'd see the day personally. To be honest, um, I never watched the show. Um, obviously, you know, if you're in the world, you know that the show exists. You might have seen clips here and there, probably the viral, um, you know, images of Kim Kim Kardashian crying and all sorts of other nonsenses, but. I never really was a fan of the show personally, never something I'm actually going to sit there and watch, but I did appreciate the fact that they were able to kind of build an entire empire for themselves, the Kardashians or Jenners, solely of being completely themselves, especially in a world where you felt as if like when you get on TV, you kind of have to pretend or play up a certain parts of, not play up, but you know, maybe try and intellectualize yourself in some kind of way right maybe try and add a dimension to yourself that doesn't actually exist but i think maybe keep up with the kardashians maybe gave birth to things like jersey shore is a maybe good example right one of the last kind of great reality tv shows in that regard where the, the people that came on that show were exactly who they say they were right they were exactly what they said in the tin and i think that's why i kind of appreciate about the kardashians and the jenner's family from afar that they were just, you know, able to be themselves un unabashedly. Um, obviously, they had their fair share of scandals, but I think in general, they've kind of provided a blueprint for a lot of these kind of quote unquote public figures out there, in it doing their thing. I, I don't think, I think, you know, people won't necessarily give them their flowers because, of course, they have their gripes with the family. You know, probably some uh, more justifiable than the others, but they really did pave the way for a lot of these. Um, influence us influences out there regardless of what they're doing and and i also like the idea that they're quite family orientated right they're you know they're a bit they're a bit um sycophantic with this kind of desire to have you know to get married and have pop out kids and and just stick with the person regardless of what's happening right it's, it gets a little bit uncomfortable but i do have the fact that they're just one big happy family you know on paper of course from the outside looking in don't get me wrong so this is the statement here it says to our amazing fans, it is with heavy hearts that we've made a difficult decision as a family to say goodbye to keep up conditions. Um, after what will be fourteen years and twenty seasons, god damn it, hundreds of episodes and numbers and numerous sorry spin-off shows, we are beyond grateful to all of you who've watched us for all these years. Through the good times, the bad times, the happiness, the tears, the many relationships and children will forever <laughs> cherish the wonderful memories and countless people we've met along the way. Um a part of me thinks the breaking point might have been remember the picture of Kim and Kanye that the paparazzi talk with that they shouldn't have taken when they're kind of like Kim's looks like she's crying in the car after I think um, one of Kanye's you know numerous breakdowns or breakthroughs as he likes to refer to them as I thought that might have been the breaking point right she's a mother of four she's got you know money coming out of her ass she's a legit billionaire um you know you're raising a family the last thing you need is to kind of be plastered all over the tabloids while you're going for a very public disagreement in parenting with your partner do you know what I mean I think that might be one of the breaking points that she doesn't need it so part of the access I think they got or part of the kind of invasions of privacy has to have come as a consequence of the Cuba Connection show right like you can't necessarily preach privacy and demand people leave you alone when you've got a show you know on E that's being shown in all countries around the world, right? In various different languages. Um, that's been running for 20 years and 14, I mean, sorry, 14 years and 20 seasons. It's difficult. So I think once you step away from the show, I would imagine they'd be in a far better place to demand privacy and also just to kind of step away from the limelight a bit. Maybe. I'm saying that now, you know, not knowing much about them, they might just turn around and say, hey guys, we've got a brand new show launching on Facebook tomorrow. But yeah, I I do get the impression they've kind of, you know, they've kind of all had enough um, of, you know, being in front of cameras in that regard anyway. And um, and maybe it was, maybe it's just Kanye too. Maybe Kanye put his foot down. It's like, you know what, enough. Like, I'm going through, I'm going through. Last thing I need are for these film crews to be, you know, um, crawling all over my home, making me feel uncomfortable and all that stuff, innit? You never know. It continues. It says, um, thank you for the thousands of individuals and businesses that have been a part of this experience. And most importantly, a very special thank you to Ryan Seacrest for believing in us. E for being our partner and our production team at Bunim and Murray, who spent countless hours documenting our lives. 
Our last season will air early next year, 2021. Jesus, that's going to be a, a big one to go out in, especially if they put all that drama in there from the past year. Without keeping up with connections, I wouldn't be here for who I, where I am today. She says, I'm so incredibly grateful to everyone who has watched and supported me and my family these past 14 incredible years. This show made us who we are, and I'll be forever in debt to everyone who played a role in shaping our careers and changing our lives forever. With love and gratitude, Kim. So yeah, fair enough to the minute. It was a good run. I think a lot of people got a lot from it. If you're a fan of this show, I think even haters probably spawned the career off it. I wonder what is Jamila Jamil gonna do now? Now that Kardashians are off to off telly, who's she, who's she going to grift off next? It did kind of give a lot of people a career. It probably put a lot of people through college. It paid off a lot of student loans. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, it's come to an end, unfortunately. And let's see what the next move is. Again, it'll be funny if. You know, it, this is all just a ploy to kind of steer them in the direction for another show or to kind of put the feelers out there for another production company to come along and put in a banging offer. But I do get the impression they've kind of all kind of, they're kind of all over it, innit? They're kind of over it, I think, in general. Um, you know, Kylie and Kendall are young women now, both, both grown. One's got a kid, one's in their mid 20s. Um, the other sisters are all grown up and doing their own thing. It probably is the right time to kind of, you know, pull the cord on it. And, and you also, it's, it's best to kind of go on the top. You don't want to kind of be, you know, you don't want people to sort of like culturally cancel you and say, hey, you've kind of run, it's kind of run its course and then just to kind of tap out. You don't want the dreaded, um, irrelevant, you know, phrase to be uttered when you walk around in places. So I definitely get it. I definitely get it on that front. <laughs> 